imperialist European Union is capitalist alliance, but rather in its dismantling. Now one minute for the non-attached member, Mr Stadler. President, the progress report does give rise to questions as far as civil society and the judiciary are concerned. It, but it does seem that none of them are insurmountable problems. They could all be resolved. Now, if we're looking at relations with Croatia, they might develop in a slightly different way once Croatia has joined the EU in the foreseeable future. We have to recognize that Serbia and Croatia are at a European fault line. This is the old one along the Drina between the west and the east of Rome. So we're talking about a Byzantine heritage or legacy here and trying to integrate that into the EU is a cultural undertaking that both sides will be able to deal with. Now if we're talking about a European family and saying that the whole Byzantine family belongs to Europe apart from Turkey because of the antagonism towards the Byzantine legacy and so as I said this is a fault line that cannot be overcome but Kosovo ladies and gentlemen is a highly sensitive issue a number of decades ago Kosovo had a majority Serb population until an anti-Serb policy was implemented and the result of the population development has given rise to the current situation for that reason we must in view of Serbian history, we can remember that a few decades ago the majority of the population was Serbian. We have to take account of the Serbian population. Thank you, Mr. Stadler. And now we're going to other speakers. Two minutes for Mrs. Pack. Now, President. President, Commissioner, Minister, the report from our colleague Mr. Kajin is a uh, which, which is one which, which can fortunately point out a lot of progress in Serbia. Apart from 